this is a picture of myself and my grandfather and then my wife. If you can't tell, my grandfather has more hair than me, so that's how he stands out. He's the guy on the right. It's a little embarrassing to have your grandfather at 94 have more hair than you do at 44, but that's indeed the case. Um, how many people within their family have a grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunt that tells the same story over and over again? Oops. Okay. My grandfather was no exception. And so this is how the story goes, and I think it's really pertinent to this conversation. Um, he would say, Dave, do you like the company you work for? I'd say, Papa, that's what I call him. I said, I, I, like, I love the company I work for. And then he said, do you love the job that you're doing? I said, you know, I do. I really do like it a lot. And then he would say, do you like your leader? And for the most part, I would say, yes. And so this is how the story goes. And pardon the, the language here, but this is how the story would go from there. I knew it was coming. He said, I worked for Indiana Bell for 40 years. I loved that company. I loved my job. But for two years, I worked for this one son of a bitch. And I hated him. He was condescending. He made me not believe in myself. He made me want to quit this job. So I heard this story over and over again. And I'm going to show you how much he hated his boss. In fact, you may have seen that when I was a little quick on the trigger there. Take a guess as who the boss is in this picture. The guy with the X on his face. Yes. I have seen many different variations. My, my grandfather kept a great chronicle of his life um, through portraits, uh, pictures, you know, with his personal life, with his professional life. But in this picture, what I've seen in different variations is the guy's face is cut out, his face is folded over. He didn't like this guy. So the last time I heard this story was in the summer of 2011, just a few months before my grandfather passed away. And you know, here's the kicker. When he told that story, he still got tears in his eyes. It was that visceral for him. And take a look at that picture. I mean, what, we're talking circa 1970? We're talking 40 years later, that leader's impact on him still had an emotional reaction. So just to circle back, what's your legacy going to be? Is it going to be caring, responsive, focused, motivated, fair, organized? Or is it going to be causing tears in individuals 40 years later?